Welcome back. This is lesson 14 of Machine Learning Zoom Camp Session 2. And now we will talk about finding the best parameter, best regularization parameter for um, our linear, linear regression model. So in the previous section, we talked about uh, regularization and uh, as a way to solve uh, uh, the problem of duplicated columns in our data. And uh, here we, we notice that uh, these are uh, affects the quality of our model and what we want to do is we want to try to find the best uh, the best value for this r so what we will do now is uh, we will use the validation set for finding the best value and what we will do is we will just try a bunch of uh, different values for r starting from zero um, then uh, let's have something smaller then uh, like we'll just gradually increase this and uh, we can maybe like something like this so maybe not too too small yeah and then uh, maybe we even try one and ten right and uh, so what we do now is we just uh, go through this r and we try it for every uh, we try every r from this list we apply it to our model and we see what happens and now we just need to uh, to print the results. So let's just print the, the, the regularization parameter. Then let's also print the bias term and we print the score. Yeah. So what we see is um, like for zero regularization, the the bias term is huge and also RMSE is huge, but uh, for even little bit of uh, regularization, it improves. So the score doesn't really change uh, that much. It starts to become a bit worse as we uh, increase the regularization. Uh, and then, yeah, when it's 10, it's even worse. Okay, and here the bias term also kind of, the, the more regularization we add, the smaller um, the bias term is. And it looks like maybe this 0 0.01, it's a good one because uh, the, the model hasn't, uh, uh, started to to degrade in performance and then uh, yes it's just not too not too large not too big i think this is uh, good enough I, I don't think it actually matters here it could be this one or could be this one doesn't matter so we can just go with uh, with this one and let's train our model uh, once again and yeah so we will just print the score yeah, so we trained, uh, we just selected the best uh, regularization parameter and we train our uh, model. Uh, we trained our model with this regularization parameter and uh, we were able to see that it works on the validation set. Now, what we need to do is check this on the test data set as well. And this is what we will do in the next lecture. 